So we made a very pretty garment. And our hill, which is kind of like the anchor, is learning mathematics. And what we put in it, in our flowers, we have developing relational understanding, because we thought that was very important. And that relates to the skunk article. And what we had, like, we put some of the major points, like questioning, like less memorization, and understanding why. And we also had, on this one here, I have the learning principle, because we thought that was also important. And they kind of just talk on, like, active learning and making connections, providing more opportunities, more opportunities, and, like, autonomous learning. And then our last flower here is the conditions of learning from the Camborne article, because we thought that was also very important to learning. And it was some of the same things, like immersion, engagement, like more opportunities, demonstration, student responsibility. And then in our sun, we have the zone of proximal development, which the rays go over all of the flowers, so it's kind of like an overlying theme in everything. And it's just providing questions and problems that are challenging, but not too overwhelming. The end. kind of have the same theme across this, just not as cute. <laughs> uh, we use uh, the relational understanding scamp article uh, for one of the anchors, an uh, active learning article that we uh, was assigned for the last homework shop, I think, and then the conditions of learning, and then just tried to relate with uh, the orange lines as much as we could to each other. So like the realistic challenge and active learning was kind of from the quote uh, that, I, that I read was like, we must be aware of the need to choose an appropriate level of challenge, one that learners can perceive as offering them realistic but not certain chance of meeting, kind of what you were saying about the realistic expectations and uh, it kind of relates to our quote that we put down here, just uh, we achieve what we expect to achieve, we fail if we expect to fail. I like that theme at least. Yeah, we were pretty much just going uh, to show that even though that there's three different like ma what we thought major underlying uh, articles or themes that they all interconnect in some way that you can get from one point of one uh, sort of learning to another point through some sort of connection. Definitely. Yeah, but like like the act of learning's in the middle because it was kind of more specific. And I feel like relational understanding and conditions of learning are interconnected, but have big enough themes on each side to be separate from each other. This is our anchor chart as part of the galaxy instead. <laughs> um, what we have is our mathematical learning, um, which is similar to doing math, so you got your moon and your sun. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so our big deals are of course our planets, they're kind of big deals. So forming generalizations, conceptual learning, and problem solving. Um, so Buzz Lightyear is going to go and visit all of those because he's learning. <laughs> he's also, um, while he's going on his trip, he's going to fly over here to Context and Connections and learn about some real world stuff with that. <laughs> and uh, and he'll also fly over here to the PO zone, which is the zone of <laughs> proximal development. Um, and he's going to do some exploring and discovery while along the way he might struggle a little, but he's going to learn from his errors, as you see there, he's fixed them already. And uh, of course he pressed the button on his spaceship and he'll say it to infinity and beyond. And Next, our main concept we had was, how do we learn? So we broke it down in between teachers and students, because we felt like that was the main two areas where teaching, uh, I mean, learning occurs. So for students, we talked about visual, phys, uh, visual, visual. and physical aids, <laughs> right? Kinesthetics, aid, and like pictures, and the part home diagram for fractions and all that. And we talked about there how the students kind of like explain their work and demonstrated how they know this knowledge and how to demonstrate it and the process for it. Then we compared the relational understanding and this instrumental understanding that we talked about and how we go from just cramming numbers versus to problem solving with interpreting the problem. And we talked about active listening, responsibility, and engagement and response for teaching. And we mostly focused for teaching would be how to ask the correct questions, not doing the simple 
direct questions, yes or no, we want to understand what the students are thinking with the thought process. So we're trying to encourage our questions within discussion in the classroom. And we want to focus on self-examination and employment and engagement to just make learning fun. So that's it. Ours, well, obviously we have learning math, and um, our anchors are pretty much uh, instrumental, problem solving, and relational um, learning. We thought those were the most important, and there's a lot of um, links, I mean, between all of them, um, kind of tying all of them together. We have, like, discovery at the bottom, because um, that's really one of the best ways to learn. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. We just wanted to show kind of like the other groups that there's like connections between everything taking place. I mean, like our blue lines like kind of represent that, yeah, like more like, I don't know, basically all different kinds of learning are pretty closely related. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, and um, we put this transformation here, the idea of like um, taking knowledge from something else you know and kind of like transforming it to something new and making connections. So it kind of is like an overlaying thing between like, all of them. And it made a light bomb, which we thought was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> uh, this is our one that we did. It's kind of a little chaotic, but you know, sometimes learning math is chaotic because there's no like one set path to go on. Um, so we have our learning math in the center, and then we have different things around the outside, like real life examples, exploration demonstration, expectations, manipulation, um, and different things like that. And they're all kind of interconnected because like with learning math, you can have all of those different things, but then also with like the exploration, you can explore something and while you do that, fully verbalize what you're doing and also use like real life examples. So it's all these ideas all interconnected.